All right, so we're almost done. You can see all these people have these things sent to AP. But I want to show you um, this Viz portfolio um, just to give you guys an example. And Harry, I'm sure, is fine with me showing this because it is a very good example of a portfolio. So let's start this time with the written evidence. So we're going to look down here. My sustained investigation work in progress is a series of introspective drawings depicting the development of childhood fears into a solidification of one's own sense of self. This can be related to identity. Identity is one's own path, both physical and internal, to self-acceptance and acknowledgement of all of one's values and fears, recognizing that it took time to make them who they are. A lifelong journey of change in order to satisfy one's own sense of self, a work in progress. Images three through seven were inspired by pre-schematic drawings of children. Bodiless figures are used in various parts of my childhood. The red figurines attempt to hold on to the childhood innocence I once had, while the black overwhelms the image, a new reality taking over. Images eight through 11 show my own development, both physically and emotionally, as a childhood passion for soccer persisted in every city I live. Each image shows a new stage of my life for each new city was a new person. Images 12 through 15 look back on past cultures, past people who they themselves were a work in progress. Each piece only partially complete. So complete represents how the lives of the artisans were cut short, their full potential never realized. Okay. So thinking about that, it's nicely worded. You can notice that Harry used by page um, every single one of the characters that he uh, could. So that's as long as it can possibly be. If we look at the images then, we have a process image here to start where he's showing him in the process of making this piece. Um, open book from my childhood as a surface with torn pages from a collection of my old art books. Hmm. Okay, I used images from art I loved growing up to layer an image, building off a book with pages torn out. Then we see the finished product here. These two weren't really uh, mentioned, um, but we know that he used every single space that he could to talk about the work. So that happens sometimes. Sometimes you can't mention everything, but you do have a chance here where it says materials and processes to glue them into some of your thinking. The other pieces are the series ones, which we, um, uh, which he wrote about. So this was the pre-schematic drawing, and here's one, two, three more of those. And then he has a shot showing he installed them down the wall, which gives them a sense of the scale of the piece, which is pretty impressive. Then we have the map pieces. There he is, a little shadowy guy um, in uh, Chicago. And again, we have a process or a, a, an installation of them all together. So they can see them as a series together, how he wants them to be hung. Third one, life cut short, the unexpected demise of these artisans. When we first started making these, he was talking about the, how he wanted them to like represent different life expectancies as well so that idea is embedded in some of this text which unfortunately they won't be able to read but that's the limitations of having so many portfolios sent off the same way the digital format so those are the other two and our final um, series there so that's the sustained investigation. I think you can see everything looks very professional and um, it's well worded and um, it looks like he really cares about each one of these pieces and how they work together. Selected works, he chose to show a piece with a collaged um, version of how the three would work together so that you're seeing one example and then how the three work together. Um, this one, of course, we've seen before. It's very impressive because of its scale, of course. Then we've got the collage, which has terrific color. Uh, another series, so that we we're, see some three series 
two individual pieces. And this just happens to be one of his favorite drawings that he did that has nothing to do with the sustained investigation. But he put that one in because he's um, proud of that drawing. Um, each one has a little box for ideas, materials, and processes that he can explain a little bit about what he was trying to do. Uh, and so Harry has done an excellent job. We're proud of him. This is what a very strong portfolio could look like.